Welcome everyone. This presentation is about Charmed OSM, the carrier grade NFV orchestrator, which is deployed on Kubernetes. Charmed OSM is deployed on Kubernetes using Juju. Juju is able to deploy the different parts that make up Charmed OSM, them being pods or VMs. In this case, we have one VM and multiple pods. These are the components of OSM. In purple, we have the components that are deployed on Kubernetes, and in yellow, the ones that are deployed on virtual machines. In the center, you'll find the main components of OSM, the next generation user interface, the northbound interface, the lifecycle management, the resource orchestrator, and the VNF configuration and abstraction. These are the components that perform most of the operations of OSM. On the left, we have the common components of OSM, which are used by the other components to achieve their goals. In there, you'll find Zookeeper, MySQL, MongoDB, Prometheus, Grafana, and Kafka. Kafka is an important one because OSM is built using a microservices architecture which relies on Kafka to deliver the messages between the components in order for them to work together. On the right, you'll find the service assurance stack, which is composed by policy, monitoring, and placement. Let's start by deploying a Juju controller on AWS. This Juju controller will be able to deploy the VCA, which is a virtual machine, and a Kubernetes cluster. Juju is the right tool for the job because it can use these charms which are capable of deploying these components and make them work together. What I mean by this is that they will exchange information between them in order to configure the, di the different moving pieces that are used here. Now we'll start deploying the VCA. I'm going to provide a different YAML that contains all the applications that I want to deploy for this model. In this case, it's only the VCA and I'm specifying what kind of machine I'm requiring for it. Now that the VC deployment has finished, we are going to deploy Kubernetes cluster using the Charmed Kubernetes bundle in Juju. Also, I'm going to use an overlay file. This overlay file contains the number of units and size and adds the AWS integrator, which grants Kubernetes the ability to request block storage or load balancers, for example. Now that the VCA and the Kubernetes cluster have been deployed, we're going to bootstrap a Juju controller on Kubernetes. After that, we are going to deploy OSM using that Juju controller and using the Charmed OSM bundle available in Juju.
now that everything is deployed, we need to provision load balancers, one for the northbound interface and the other for the next generation user interface. Once the services are reachable through the load balancers, we are going to upload two packages using the OSM client through the northbound interface. After that, we are going to check that those packages are available using the next generation user interface. And as you can see it, they are. This concludes our presentation and thank you for watching.